What's good, everybody? I'm going to tell you guys a little story, man, all right? So this morning, um, I woke up, brushed my teeth, looked at my phone, and went to IG. And I promise you, you would not believe me. At Cash Nasty, you guys were spamming me. Uh, this video right here, proof that Flight Reacts is the worst basketball player ever reaction. Now, I got to give you guys what you guys want. This is this, this not the most, probably one of the most requested video. Cash Nasty, hit me. Let's go and get to it, man. I'm not going to do a whole lot of pausing. I'm just going to do a lot of muting. You know what I mean? Let's go and get to it. What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team, stand up! Hey, man. We have proof Flight Reacts is the worst basketball player ever. Um, this is by a dude named Legends of Winning Basketball. Um, this is actually first link uh, from my man Von Von. Uh, yeah, so shout out to him, you know. Check it out. So basically, this is a highlight of all uh, 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 <laughs> stupid achievements. Like, you gotta know what, bro. Right? There's a thread on Twitter, bro. And I, 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 if I react to that Twitter thread, it's gonna be funny as hell. If you guys want that, go to my IG at Cash Nasty and just spam me. Don't leave that below in the comments, bro. Right? It's a funny thread of all the dumb high moments to fly done. Fly. Look at it, I'm sound stupid. Little reactor. Let's get to it. Starts oh, yeah. off the video showing that, okay? It, oh. This is Flight Reacts, a fellow YouTuber who has gained a very impressive following over the past <laughs> several years thanks to some funny moments. <laughs> Look at his hair, dog. Like, it just, it just, it's just natural, bro. It's natural. Takes and infamous <laughs> rages, or better known as his reactions. However, as many of us know, you cannot stay relevant on YouTube for any extended period of time without adding some diversity to your content. And Flight has been successful at this as well. He plays video games, vlogs, hell, he's even been in a few relationships. But in my opinion, his most impactful content that okay. he uploads are his 1v1s. These videos have become a staple <laughs> in the community, not just because they generate more content for other creators, but also they are extremely entertaining. And recently, the frequency in which Flight has uploaded these 1v1s have gone up, so I have seen myself consuming way more Flight's content than I normally do. So much so that I believe I missed a few of them and just got caught up on Cash Nasty reacting to them. And while watching one of Cash's videos, this happened. Flight been playing so many people, bro. You can't even like, you can't even get count of how many L's you got in a row, bro. Facts! But Wait, hold up for a second. Facts! You're telling me no one is keeping track of this? Like, we all know Flight is bad, but no one actually That was such a good move. I hated the fact Flight I missed that. Basketball? The answer to that question is no, because people have lives. Luckily, I don't. So what I decided to do was watch every 1v1 that Flight has ever uploaded, record all the wins and losses, track all his miss and makes, calculate his field goal percentage, so we as a community all know how bad Flight is at basketball. Now, what? I grossly underestimated how him, daunting bro. of a task this Look is. So while nice I do that, shot. I first give you a little bit more information on who Flight is as a ball player. Flight is right hand dominant, and legend has it he stands roughly around 6'3 and weighs about a buck 55. Yes, now, sir. you would assume that someone that tall would utilize their height to their advantage. Uh, no, Flight does not take advantage of his height whatsoever. <sighs> bro, to be honest with you, like, bro, 6'3 is really not that tall, bro. Yes, it is. Stop. You 6'3 for nothing. You 6'3 in trash. I'm gonna just put it out there. You no, know what I'm saying? Like there. maybe like if I was in high school, this is a fun fact. Like I was a short always until like probably the end of 11th grade, going into 12th grade. That's when I had my huge growth spurt, you know. But like, so you just said there's a huge growth spurt, right? So you know it, that you are tall. So you just categorize it as a huge growth. Real through that beforehand, I was always like five three and five four. I was always dreaming I could be six foot and thought that was tall. Flight, you just don't wake up one day and be 5'3", then just skip to 6'3", bro. I mean, I, uh, uh, I mean, everybody. Hey, man. I hope you guys get on coming from, bro. I think I might sound stupid just trying to break it down. And I feel him because people be, you know, like, on the average height in America is like, what, 5'9"-ish? You know what I'm saying? 
So it's just like, hold on, bro. Let me shut my blinds, bro. Shut my blinds real quick and get this better lightning, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. All right, so hopefully that ain't mess up no lightning or whatever like that. But anyway, bro, check me out. Like, look, basically, bro, the average height is 5'9". Like, ain't nobody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 6'3 is not that tall. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Like, when it comes to protecting you. You saying that because you're 6'3 for nothing. You're 6'3 in trash. rim he's horrible at that giving some type of effort on that side of the ball especially when it comes to contesting shots it's very lackluster and when it comes to staying on balance and trying to stay in front of his man flight struggles significantly in his aspect so much so that a lot of times he gets turned around but if there is one no it's a football move i already told y'all about that end, how's it a football move because he's driving to the rack doing a layup you probably told us that but we look dude just because you tell us something like doesn't mean that we sit right here and we and, and we are like it's a difference between listening and hearing, all right? We hear you, but we just not listening. Cause it's dumb. It, 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 it's dumb. Some things come out your mouth, it's just stupid. It's not a football move. It is his basketball IQ. I want I gotta hey man, all jokes aside, bro. I gotta uh one I gotta re rematch one of my dog cheese again, dog. It is his best. I ain't gonna let that IQ. happen again. I'm Flight's scoring, bro. IQ like he was so low that <laughs> even when his opponent is at a massive disadvantage, or even if they handicap themselves, Explain they that. still find a way to win. Like the time where Cash had his left hand tied behind his back and still was able to beat Flight off the dribble going Using right. Using his dominant right hand like he's good. Blindfolded, so <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Shots, since he couldn't see, he just drove to the basket. And again, still beat Flight. And then you had the game against Cheeseaholic, who is nearly a foot shorter than Flight. He did nothing but drive to the basket going left. And in the middle of the game, Flight was told. Hey, yo, he left-handed. Yo, make him go right, yo. Fat, 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 fat. And then in the very next possession, still got I was tired, to the basket. Honestly, if Flight just paid more attention to his matchup and understood their tendencies, he would win way more games than he does. But then you have the offensive side, and honestly, it may actually be worse. Again, Flight does not use his height to his advantage, so he never posts up. Instead, he opts in for a face-up game, which is a shame because creating a shot consistently is nearly impossible. When it comes to his handles, Flight dribbles the ball like an ambitious eight-year-old who just got done watching Curry Look at some Curry, man. dribble routines and then decided to go right outside. He's coming back to Sunday. And practice and try to execute yeah, a, yo, what type of drill is that he's doing, he though? He has no left hand. When he attempts to do anything that's more complex than just dribbling between his leg, he has a hard time Ooh executing that. stationary. <laughs> When he attempts to do anything that's more complex than just dribbling between his leg, he has a hard time. Stationary. How about that? How about that? How about that air ball right after flight? How about the air ball, bro? Is it is it still? And even when he goes right, as long as you keep pressure on him, he's bound to make a mistake. So again, yeah. because of these limitations, creating a shot for himself is a very How daunting task. Ball, and that task becomes nearly impossible for Flight when you start to look at some of his shooting mechanics. Now, I'm not going to break down every single last thing that Flight does wrong because I don't want to make this video 30 minutes long. However, there are two things that I have to point out. The first one has to do with his footwork, which is atrocious. It's very obvious that Flight finds it very difficult to figure out which foot to gather off of. Facts. Because of this, any momentum that Facts. he would he's have is completely nullified, which forces him to shoot while he's on the run. Which brings us to one of his go-to moves, and that's his <laughs> running oh, foot. Like that. Even that looks extremely awkward, because again, his footwork is <laughs> I all wrong. should have made that one. And honestly, bro. I believe Flight is completely aware of this, which is why his second go-to move is his hop step. Oh! Yo, that, that float was that. nasty. He's the only person I've ever seen in my life Man, do a hop step and still doesn't face the basket, which basically kind of defeats the purpose of a hop step. And then the second thing that I have to bring up is that Flight almost never follows through on his jump shot. I don't follow through, but I get my rebound, right? Okay. Bent, which forces him to either A, overshoot it, or B, shoot a lot of air balls. If I tally this correctly, Flight has shot over 60 air balls 
in all of the games that he has played, which is roughly around at air ball. So how many NBA players shoot air balls in their career, their career ball, right? How many games? Even the greatest. Steph <laughs> yeah, bro. You can't compare yourself to an NBA player. You're not even D1. You Z1. You a Z1 player, bro. You all the way from the beginning stage, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. fly like a middle schooler. Matter of fact, a, a kid in a lower, like, a third grader prodigy can beat you. No cap. Curry, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. They shot the 300 plus air balls at that, bro. Nearly yeah, but that should be consistent, the flight. However, while I was doing my research, I decided to exclude a few games since they weren't fair matchups. Bro, no, bro. If I'm playing a game, it's a fucking cat counts. Why does, bro, I don't care, bro. I hate when people try to disregard a game because I'm playing a certain sub No, bro, because if I would have lost, you would have made an example out of something. Like, defeated the purpose of the whole video because it wasn't going to give me any closer. What, what is it with you and DDG with these exact same shoes, matter of fact, bro? What is going on? Bro, why you and DDG won't let these shoes go? Like, don't let these shoes go, fam. Yeah, I had this shoe in 2015. Y'all still wearing the exact same kicks. Like, defeated the purpose of the whole video because it wasn't going to get me any closer to determining how bad flight was at basketball. Those games are the two against Bone Collector, a game against DDG where in the middle of the game, Daryl not only decided to blindfold himself, but also only use one hand. This other game where Flight played against this young lady who looked like she never dribbled a basketball a day in her life. And then recently Flight, for whatever hey, reason, hey, decided hey, to upload a game beans. against Little Terrio, who is 12 years old. Which leaves us with what? four games. In those 43 games, Flight has a record of nine and 34. Which is kind of surprising because I couldn't believe that there were actually nine people who lost the flight. Those nine games are Ellen Hughes. Whoa, Flight. what's my IRL record, bro? Are you slow? He just showed you. It was bold on the screen in bold letters. It was nine and 34, if I'm correct, right? Flight, it was right there. What are you looking at? It's this. Flight reacts record, 9 and 34. What the hell are you looking at? Nine and 34, which is kind of surprising because I couldn't believe that there were actually nine people. What are you looking at? Who lost the flight? Those nine games are Ellen Hughes. Whoa, flight. what's my IRL record, bro? Through what to what? 43 games. In those 43 games, Flight has a record of 9 43 and games. Which is kind of surprising because Damn. I can't believe that they were actually. Which is kind of surprising because. Through what to what? 43 games. In those 43 games, Flight has a record of 9 43 and games. All right, Flight, you gotta let go of the weed, bro. Like, as, as, no, this right here is a friend right here, bro. As you react to this video here, bro, you got to let go of it, bro. It, it, it's not doing you no good, bro. Like, what, what, dude, it's 34. Where you get four? Oh, you, you looked at it backwards. Dog, you got to stop, bro. It's, 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 it's almost like a cry for help right now, Flight. No, and I love you like a brother, bro. You know what I mean, bro? You know, since day one, bro. But, man, I mean, dude, like, bro. You gonna have kids one day, bro? They gonna watch this, dog? Which is kind of surprising because Damn. I can't believe that they were actually. Hold on, bro. Result. What is this? Which leaves us with 43 games. In the basketball of them at basketball. Those games are the two against Bone Collector, a game against DDG where in the middle of the game, Daryl not only decided to bro, blindfold himself, to but also it. only used one it's hand. Right there. This it's other right. game it's, where Flight played against this young lady who looks like queen. she never dribbled a basketball a day in her life. And then recently, Flight, for whatever reason, decided to upload a game against Little Terrio, who is 12 years old, which leaves us with 43 games. In those 43 games, Flight has a record of 9 and 34. Damn. I gotta lock that down in my head. Sorry for like this is the last time I'm in pausing those 43 it, bro. games. Flight has a record. Nine and thirty-four, bro. And he discounted a couple games, so really I should probably have like eleven wins. But all right, so here's the deal with this, guys. To this day, we're nine and thirty-four. By June, this record is gonna be. We're we're having by June. We're having at least forty wins. We're having at least forty.
wins by June. And we're going to have less than 38 losses. So we're only going to lose four more times. You see how you set yourself up for failure? We don't expect that from you. By the, by, no, by the end of the year, we expect you to be about probably like 12 and 50. That's what we expect. And that's good coming from you. I'm calculating that right. Yeah, we're having we're having a, uh, we're having at least forty wins by June. Well, if you keep playing people like Terry, yo, you might get it. We're good, bro. We don't have nothing to worry about. Of <laughs> nine and thirty-four, which is kind of surprising because I couldn't believe that there were actually nine people who lost a flight. Those nine games are LNU twice, Chino, SC, Dub, Annoying TV, Miles Brown, Mopey, and David Spalmer. So basically, flight beat a girl. A 14 year old boy and six dudes who look like they haven't played basketball in over five years. Now, you may be wondering out of those nine wins, which one was Flight's best game? That is easy against the home TV. And in that game, Flight shot nearly 43% from the field and 50% from behind the arc. And of Lord course, TV. However, in an act to be transparent, that game only went to five points. And Annoying TV might actually be the worst ball player I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I didn't see that. But hey, that is indeed Flight's oh! game. Some of you all may be wondering, well, what's Gross. Flight's Shut worst up, game? And that one's a little bit more trickier because Flight has had multiple outings where he went scoreless. Come on, Flight bro. couldn't buy a basket in both of the games he faced so long. Hey, this 20, I, I try to tell you, you know what I'm saying? If, if y'all want it to happen, like, what's up with it? You know what I'm saying? Like... I need this rematch. This shit will not happen again. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly know what went wrong and I where I fucked up. This one right here, I shouldn't have worn sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? And I low-key wore the wrong shoes. They were very nice shoes. You know what I'm saying? You know, I had a, it was a nice fit. It's like more of a fit, you know, just go to the mall type stuff. You know, about to pick up some woman type ish, you know? I should have wore some shorts. And the shoes, I look, you didn't want to tell nobody this, but I didn't have a lot of grip. I think I said something about that. I didn't have a lot of grip on my shoes. Now that I got the proper basketball shoes, or damn near wear the same shoes every video when I play basketball, bro, this is not going to happen again. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot more improvement in the game. You know, so. I mean, the first outing, he Gotta shot happen. 0 for 11 from That's the That shit's not going to happen again, bro. And 0 from 6 from B. He also went scoreless against B. Lou, where he shot... Zero for 14. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 14, 14 bro. Which is a very close second because, in my opinion, the worst game that Flight has ever played was against Cheeseaholic. In that game, not only did he go scoreless, but he couldn't even attempt that many shots because how bad he was defensively. He only took four shot attempts because oh, Cheeseaholic had the ball for practically the entire game. But wait, it gets worse because Flight was losing so bad in this 1v1 matchup that he forced Cheeseaholic to go to 15 points instead of the original agreement to 11 points and still couldn't stop him and still couldn't get enough shots up to even compete with Cheeseaholic. Again, going score. Flight, don't do that again, bro, because for, like, for the amount of L's you be having, bro, in life, in basketball stuff, bro, that fence could have been weak as hell. And you could just whoop. Please don't put the seven danger like that no more, bro. That would have been bad, bro. Scoreless. And since we're talking shooting percentages, I guess it's only right to go ahead and give everybody what they've been waiting for, and that's flight averages. Out of the 43 games nice that rebound. Research, flight attempted 790 shots, but only made 184 of them. What you guys say about that? Giving him a field goal percentage of 23%, which is ridiculous, but what's even crazier is that out of those 790 shots, 444 of them were three-point attempts. And you're not even a shooter. That's your problem. You 6'3 for nothing. You 6'3 for trash. We're going to start counting. And out of those 444 three-pointers, Flight only made 78 of them. Damn. Which means that he's only shooting 17% from behind the arc. But what's even more laughable is when you do the math and you realize that on average, Flight attempts 18 shots a game, 10 of them being three-pointers, and only averages six points. Yes, it takes 18 <laughs> shots for Flight to score only six points. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people who will challenge my findings. Fair oh, enough. Oh, I like that jersey. So what I decided to do is show my work. 
In the description below, there is a link to high. a Google spreadsheet. If you click on it, it will give you flights exactly. game. I never, I never watched Every video. single game that I utilize in this video for my research is categorized. Hey, he got the for facts right there, bro. He got the facts right there, flight. You can't say nothing. You can't say nothing. For you. And of course, just for the culture, I will be updating this game log every time flight plays a 1v1 from here on out. And before we transition to the last portion of this video, there were a few interesting finds. Hey, bro, I want to see my record, bro. Shout out to the guy here, bro. Do my record, bro. <clears throat> I mean, go way back then. I, I, honestly, I think I was the first person is to, if not one of the first, way back then. I played, the, I played a guy on the court, basketball court, bro. That thing, like, it went crazy, bro. I, like, one of the first people in the 2K community to, like, do 1v1. And it was years ago when I played Renner guy on a wet court. Start from that game right there, bro. Right? And I, w I want to see my record, man. I, 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 I don't see my record. I, I think I would have lost once. And that was due to an injury. But then I beat the guy who I lost to. Let me see this, man. Let me see mine, man. Findings that I saw throughout my research. The first one being, if you remove the... I want let you guys know I am playing Miles Brown today, and I know Flight did do a video with Miles Brown. Game that he played. And I got react to no, that. bro! That counts as a W! No! Stop yes. watching that game. And in every other game that I took a W in. Why wouldn't you, since Little Terrio is 12 years old, Flight has lost every 1v1 game since October 29th. Bro, He's no, literally bro. in the middle of an 11-game losing streak. The second thing that I want to point out are the games where Flight just attempted a ridiculous amount of shots. Like on May 1st, 2018, where he matched up against Chark and attempted 29 shots, but only made three of them. Or what about the more recent game against Jesser when he was blindfolded? Flight no, bro. No, bro. I said, bro. First of all, that game was not even on my channel. You don't count that game. You count the shit that's uploaded on, bro. Any game uploaded on Flight Reacts counts. So if I upload a game on my second channel, or you know what I'm saying, or my main channel, whatever, because I don't know where I'm going to upload this video. I mean, I'm just probably going to end up uploading this on the Not Cherish Flight. Let's say if I upload an IR on the Not Cherish Flight channel. You know what I'm saying? That does, if it win, it counts, but if I lose, it doesn't count, bro. No, bro, because the Not Cherish Flight is just like a bonus. It's like a bonus channel. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, Flight Reacts, that's the official scorekeeper, bro. And you're not taking stuff from other people's channels and counting that towards my record, bro. That's out. That's out. Negro, shut the hell up. Shut up. Out. It's out. Thirty. Because I played against Jester. Only made nine of them and still already, and he counted it twice. But I cannot forget about the that game doesn't that count. made me keep count of all of Flight's shot attempts. And that's the game against LNU back in June 16th, 2019, where even though, yes, Flight did win that game, he attempted 39 shots and only made nine of them, giving him a field goal percentage of 23%. But what's more important, in that game, he attempted 17 three-pointers, but only made one of them, giving him a three-point percentage of 5%. And finally, and the biggest reason why this video took me so long to make, we have Flight's shot chart yes i literally took the time out to chart every single last <laughs> bro how the hell do you have that much time in your hands to do that bro god damn fly look out the reds man fly stop playing basketball stop what you can't even shoot from here why you shoot for way out here? Can't go left. Fly! Bro, let this sponge in your hand. What the hell am I looking at, bro? He literally charted every single IRL shot chart, bro. Okay, so I just found my hot zones then. You see how I, I, I told you I'm like Curry and Lillard? Behind the yard, bro. You know what I'm saying? All of my hot spots is right around the three. Every hey, idiot. The X mean you missed the shot. You don't got no hot zones. 
You're confusing the green with the red. You're not make th those are not the, the, your 2K hot spots, bro. You don't got no hot spots, man. Bro, your hottest spot, honestly, is at the rim. Your hot spot is around three. I like that cap. All right. Bro, you can't be this dumb, bro. Fly love, man. This is red. It's an X. And we got some on the mid-range side, the right side. I got a lot of hot spots inside, inside the paint. I need to start driving more, a little bit more. So on the left side, mid-range, this is not my shot because this is my left hand. You know what I'm saying? That's not my type of shot. So stay away from that left side. But then again, I don't like that he put this here because it's giving other people the advantage now. They can look and see the weakness. That means you just got to approve on the left hand. The weakness? No one doing their homework on you, man. No one doing the scout reporting on you, man. Like, when somebody look at this shot chart, I like gonna say check up. Fam. Robert got and dexterous, bro. Try to attempt a flight throughout all 43 games. I'm gonna be able to use both hands and by June, bro. Boy, oh boy, do you see a lot of red. And again, just for the culture, if you want this shot chart, I'll have it on my Twitter, at Legend of Winning. You can just follow me there, and I'll have it there for oh, anyone man. to download or consume or however you want to utilize it. Because, again, you know, this is for the community. It's for the culture. You know what I'm saying? How many people you know would have sat down and watched all the flights 1v1s and did everything that I did for this video? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, some goat. Too many people. It is. So there you have that's it. That's some goat Finally shit. Like, uh, low key. How bad flight is at basketball. On but average, gonna give you, you just, six points. you know, there's a little. He's going to attempt 18 shots to get to those six. So points. this is what it's looking like. I average six points per game. That's going to go up by June. That's going to go up, you know, at least by 18 or 20. You know what I'm saying? I'm at. Hey, you dumb. <laughs> Flight. You want to go to 11 and play 1v1. How you going to get. Hey, I'm done watching the video. See you guys next video. I love you, dog, but, bro, it, this, 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 it's, it's just too much for me, bro. How you going to average 18 points when you only go to 11? When you lose to 11 to 1, you go to 15. You never go to 18. Fight. D. D.